Well, you know, comrades, I, I have to say I'm so inspired. You know, uh, 10 years ago, we weren't sure what was going to happen, you know, the, with our party and everything. So, and I, I, I really think that the working class is, is, has a real chance because of our party, our growth of our party, our membership of our party. So uh, I like what Dom said, we are Marxist-Leninists, we're not stooges of the bourgeoisie. You know, this weekend we heard a, a deeper analysis of our current situation, which gives us a, a much clearer picture of what, what the path looks forward, what we need to do. Um, the, it, it helps us to not, be a, not have a knee-jerk uh, approach to some of the things that, that, that are happening. Uh, although, like Arturo said, you know, the very next day we're like, oh. You know, I think we were all like, oh, well, I won't cuss because I'm on video. <laughs> but, you know, it was, it was difficult. I think it was all difficult for all of us. And, um, but, but because we are Marxist-Leninists, we have this ability to begin to look at things very objectively and be able to make an analysis and be able to find the opportunities that, that come before us. Okay, so this, we're here, so now what do we, you know, where do we go? What's, what's available to us? And I think, you know, we've been able to do that uh, here at our national committee right after the elections. Uh, we expect comrades to take this home with you take it to your clubs and your districts, uh, and uh, also once the, the final uh, report is done, uh, share it, use it as an educational, to help others to really see the path forward. Because we need to internalize this path. We need to internalize this optimism that is, is before us, you know. I, I also feel that we have to be, be aware that fear is the, the, you know, the branding of the capitalists, right? The in, in, to fear this, fear each other, fear, you know, everything. So we have to be very mindful of not falling into that hole, you know, although sometimes we are fearful. We don't know what, we don't, the, you know, we fear the unknown, but it'll begin to reveal itself. And so, uh, you know, just be mindful of, of that. In the last nine days, as Joe reported, we have nine, uh, 300 plus members. And I've been looking at some of these, um, these applications, and many new members state that they want to help their community. One member says, I want to help my, help my community and do my part in protecting the future. Another one states, I need to get off the couch and organize. Another one says, connecting with like-minded like, like people and being part of a community. They see our party as that community. That's you know, in the long run, when we talk about being the vanguard of, of you know, it's the working class that's going to elect us, that, or choose us. It's not us who are going to say, hey, you know, we are, we are that. I want you to also know that we have uh, stepped up our efforts to process the membership. We have three people uh, doing this right now, so that it, you'll be getting a lot of them, and you, you may have already gotten a lot of uh, uh, emails um, you know, from us with new members, make sure that that becomes a priority. People are really wanting to help, uh, like I mentioned. So for us, I think as communists, we have to double down on checking our ego. We have to double down on eliminating the small differences that are really now small compared to what we're faced. Uh, we have to double down on increasing our sector our collectivity and, and our discipline. And yes, uh, we will have to make some sacrifices. You know, it's what, it's what we have before us. Um, I think we also have to double down on making sure that we strive to walk as one. You know, we, we have a goal and that's we got to keep that front and center. We want to, uh, you know, we have one voice. So we have to double down on that. You know, these days, I'm reminded of my mother. Because 
My mother's experience in 1931, she was one of the citizen, U.S. citizens that was expatriated back in, you know, when they were blaming all Mexican Americans uh, for uh, uh, the poverty that was, you know, brought on. And the first years in Mexico were very difficult for her. And her, for her and her parents, my mother lost her vision because of lack of nutrition, you know, uh, a good nutrition. My grandfather was unable to find a job. And, if it, and the local community began to found out that they were starving. And that community was the one that helped my mother regain her, her sight because they were bringing in some necessary food so that she could eat and her family could eat. And we have to be that community for many people who are going to be suffering. We have to be reaching out. Uh, we have to make sure that we reach out outside of our circles. Now is not the time to only be in left circles. We can't build the mass movement without reaching outside of our left circles. This is really important, comrades. Um, so, you know, we've talked about what some of the, what are, what's next? You know, we gotta get out there. We already see a movement that we can plug into, that we can help and bring our Communist Plus into. We see a movement that is organized that I think it was Bobby who said, there's already an infrastructure. We don't have to start from scratch, but we have to be a part of it. We have to be uh, there all the time. And I believe what Joel said, that MEGA will eventually reach out, reach overreach, and we have to reach out. This is really, it's, it's true. It's going to happen. We'll see it. I also think that we have to be more, more intently organizing in the South. We have to really reach out, create a, you know, let's create a, a collective that's going to look into some of those things. We have to do that. Um, one of the things, and I don't know if I heard this, I, I, it might have been said, but maybe I didn't hear it. Sustainers program, the sustainer program is a really, uh, a real way to begin to sustain the party on a regular basis. That if more of us become sustainers, we, don't, we may not necessarily have to raise that much more money every year. And, and, and it's an easy uh, thing. We have pamphlets out there, so comrades take uh, your plant pamphlets home, stuff them in your bags or <laughs> things like that. Um, on running candidates, you know, uh, Joe threw me off my chair yesterday when he said, we gotta run, you know, we, and I run, and I'm running, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> but I think, you know, we, we do have to start, uh, we have to start thinking about it much more deeply. And I think that the, uh, you know, Political Action Commission maybe should create a, a subcommittee that looks really deeper into it. You know, uh, we have guidelines already, but maybe we need to start looking at the states where is the possibilities of running candidates. We have to test it a little bit more to see what it is. So comrades, let's go out and make the seemingly impossible possible. We can do it, comrades. Thank you.